Hello and welcome. I'm Theolyn, this is Soul School, and this is number five in my series, Keys to Heaven. And it's all about how the different archangels are guardians of the gates of light, and their energy qualities will give you keys to opening access to a state of you could call it bliss consciousness, heaven. And when you can release yourself into that state of connection with the divine, then your material life becomes naturally abundant and joyful. So in previous episodes, I've suggested that you get hold of the map that I'm working with and I'm, I've determined that by now you should have it and therefore I'm not going to show it again in this video. But I will show you the different archangels that we've looked at already because we started uh, on the Tree of Life map at the foot of the tree and we met this way around because they got to look at each other. We met Oriel and Sandalphon, the couple. Um, and then we moved up to um, Gabriel next and then we talked about how Hanael gives the driving force that you require in order to make your visions and your dreams come true in the world and then we also looked at Raphael who's a kind of antidote if you like to Hanael when he gets um, running away with too much energy. He goes whizzing down the street without a thought for the basic important things in life. I mean, it's like somebody driving a, an extremely powerful car and, as I said previously, not bothering to check the tyres, not going into the pit stop, they call it, don't they? So who is it today? Well, you could guess because I've got yellow and orange in my environment is carefully chosen because we're going to talk about Michael. Well, Michael, if you look at the map, is in the centre and holds a whole series of strands. So he's like the hub of a wheel in a way that, um, that allows the other energies to work around that centre point and then each one is subservient in a way to Michael. He's called the commander in chief of all the archangels. And that power, that sovereign power, that kingship, because he's like a monarch in the chart, is that he will provide you with that sense of being centered. And again, I use the word he because that's a classic way to refer to archangels generally. But they don't actually have any gender. It's a power. It's a kind of power that doesn't belong to men or women in, in the physical world, in the human world, or even in the animal world, actually. So Michael is the radiant being. And when you're in touch with that radiance inside you, there is a sort of energetic feeling which is almost, dare I say it, orgasmic. It's a, a sort of potent flowing of power that you can sort of feel a slight uh, tingling in your hands and in your feet and as kind of heart opening energy as though everything is possible. The divine is flowing through me and it's magical and nothing can get in the way. And when I say nothing can get in the way, it's not like Haniel's energy, which is pushy. Michael's energy is just sheer, exuberant, radiant light. And in order to get to that kind of state in your consciousness, it's really helpful to be a meditator. That was how I felt that I really got in touch with this energy. 
And we know from all the mystics and the biblical stories and other uh, stories from other cultures and mythologies that this potency, which is represented in the sky by the actual sun, the centre of the solar system, this energy can actually ease its way through without any resistance as a, a divine power. And Michael's name actually means like unto God. So when you meet Michael, you're not actually meeting the divine, the Godhead yourself, because if you did, you'd probably be, <laughs> be flattened for a while. But you're meeting something that's so closely related to it that it can make you feel reassured and confident. It's protective and its, it's all-encompassing energy will get you through all kinds of stuff whether you're having to cope with you know, family difficulties or grief or um, you're anxious about the future for your children or you're kind of concerned about, you know, mundane things like finances and so on and so forth. This sunshine confidence that Michael brings you will just open all the gates and things become very much simpler and easier when you work with the energy of Michael. So meditations on the sun are really important. You know, if you do yoga, do the sun salute. <laughs> uh, many, many years ago, when I was first learning deep meditation systems into my um, meditation one day arrived um, a very charming old man with a long white beard and I thought he might be a guru like the Maharishi and I've been learning the Maharishi's meditation system but this um, character was very playful and he said he was Pythagoras so I don't know how much Greek philosophy you know, but Pythagoras was an earlier philosopher to Plato. So it's a few hundred years before the Christian era. And he um, had a, a school in southern Italy, a school of initiates. And part of their ritual and their routine was to go out and sing a song to the sun. Now, where I live in West Wales, in the UK, it's not always sunny, especially in the winter. But I do make a habit of going out to check when the dawn seems to be coming up um, in the east. And I go and welcome that energy coming in. And if there is actually real sunshine, I will go out and do a Pythagorean uh, a salutation to the sun. So it's always been recognised that the sun has got this immense uh, life-giving power. And that's what Michael is about, the life-giving energy for the whole shebang. And so the key to working through issues and challenges in your life you know, the big key, the biggest key in the bunch will be Michael energy. And if you didn't bother with any of the other archangels, you'd probably be set up for life. So I hope that's been helpful. Don't forget to get that map. The actual, apart from the map, the whole booklet, which is about 15 pages long, has got lots of stuff about working with the archangels in this kind of way. And you can get it by becoming a member. It doesn't cost you anything. And um, also subscribe to this YouTube channel because after these seven have finished, I've got another series coming up. Um, uh, another series which I think you'll enjoy. So just keep an eye on this channel 
by subscribing and please like it as well. That will help more people know about it. Thank you very much and I look forward to talking to you about two more archangels in this series, two more key holders. What is the next key going to be? Have a look at the map that I keep telling you about and then you can decide which one you think it's going to be. Goodbye for now.